Hey everybody! So this is my updated storage that I purchased from IKEA um, last week. Um, I decided to go with these two separate wardrobe units. They're actually made for your for like closets or as a wardrobe for clothes and such. Um, but I decided to use these two units because they're configurable and they would provide a lot of storage vertically. Um, for the things that I wanted to store in my stamping area. So this is just inside my house um, where I do most of my card making um, as opposed to my outdoor studio, which is separate from the house. So in here, I have quite a few um, items that I use for card making and it was starting to get out of hand because I have a lot of stamp sets that I've been um, collecting, collecting or buying. Um, so I wanted to kind of, uh, have a place to store all of that and also have room for more that I purchase. So these two units are actually, um, PAX units, P-A-X from Ikea. And the interior pieces to them are called complement. So that's the name of all of the drawers and shelving units that are inside of this, these two separate units. And this one on this side is a 19 inch wide unit. And then this one is 29 inches, 29 and a half. And I, I know they have one that's even wider than this. That's 39 and a half, I believe. Both of these units are the same depth. They are 22 and 7 eighths, I believe. And then the height is about, I think it's about 80 inches. So um, I can't fit it all in the screen, but there's two more drawers above this one right here. Um, and then down below, there's two, this, this, is, this is the bottom shelf, well, the bottom of the unit. And then there's a stationary shelf here where my finger is. And then this tray and this tray both pull out and they are um, holding my electronic cutters. I will show you that. Um, but I want to have this, uh, camera stationary for a little while so that I don't get you all dizzy. Now there are four drawers in this unit right here, and these all hold stamps and I'll show that up close too. And then you'll notice there's a big gap here and that's on purpose because the stamps, there's two rows of stamps in each drawer. There's four of them. But this drawer has um, extra large stamps in it, so I needed the gap to be able to fit them in sideways, um, and that was the most economical way to do it. Above this particular um, drawer right here is a tray that's just like these two right here. It's a pull-out tray, and it has dies in it. Um, and then in these two um, pull-out trays right here, there are um, eight and a half by 11 papers. There's also eight and a half by 11 papers here and then a whole bunch of die binders. So this is new storage that I bought. This is the um, pullout tray. If you look at the um, picture, that's the pullout tray that I have in both units um, in two different sizes, because again, one is a 19 inch wide unit and the other one is a 29 inch wide unit. And then this is the drawer. Um, that is in the units. They do have both a glass front and then they have a solid white front. I chose the solid white one because it's cheaper than the glass fronted one. Um, this is nice because you can see into it, but I just, I prefer to save the money because this was not a cheap endeavor um, for storage, but it works the best for what I have to store. And the other part of it is if I get to a point where I want to rearrange, it's configurable. So I can move the drawers up and down. I can rearrange the um, pull-out trays where they're located um, within the unit. I could move them up or down or whatever. So if I change my mind about this and it's not working for me, I can always reconfigure it. They do have other pieces, which, you know, you could look into Ikea's website and see what they do have. This is one of those things where you can buy it online and pick it up in the store or I think they even have delivery now for this. So um, that's kind of the, 
let me just show you overview of the unit and I have some traveling bags for crafting up on top there is the the pull out tray at the top that has dies and stamps um, for Christmas and um, there's the bottom of the unit now you'll notice that um, there like I said there are four drawers here of stamps this is not my entire stamp collection this is just paper tray ink stamps and that's not even all of them that's just th four drawers worth of stamps that I have I have another um, set of stamps over to the right of me <laughs> sorry so I'm gonna take the camera off and I'll be right back okay so I don't wanna get you all dizzy by um, showing you too, you know, moving around too much, but the reason that, part of the reason why I got this um, unit again is because it's configurable and it had the things that I wanted to be able to store um, that would allow me to store things. So there's two electronic cutting machines here. One is the Cricut Maker and the other one is my Sand and Cut too. Um, they're both on these movable trays. So if I want to use the... Um, you, the machine, you'll notice that there is a screen right here. And so in order to use the screen, you have to pull it out. This allows me to be able to fit more um, shelving into the unit, but also be able to store it. So all I have to do is just lift that up and I can use the machine, and turn it on. Now, these units don't come with a hole in the back. My husband drilled a hole in the back so that we could fit a extension cord through the hole and it's what these two are plugged into. You can see um, the plug right there. So the other thing too is that your mat has to be able to move back, back behind it and then back out again, which it can do. You just open the front. You can see that there is room to be able to have that mat move in and out. It's the same thing with the Cricut Maker. The Cricut Maker is not right up against this because to open the lid, this piece comes down and it's curved, so you need to have a little bit of room in the front so that it will fit. But again, the mat can move back in and out. It'll come back out the front, of course, but it has to be able to move in and out um, on the tray. So um, again, this is able to store my electronic cutters. Now, I had to get this wider unit instead of the narrow one to hold these because the Cricut Maker is like 22 inches wide and so it would not fit in the smaller unit so that's the reason why I got this wider unit to hold to be able to hold this um, these two cutters now these are the only two trays pull out trays in this particular unit and they're rated for 40 pounds so you can't have heavy things rolling in and out of this tray because it's only rated for 40 pounds or 44 pounds I can't remember but it says that on the IKEA website what the rating is for the weight because they are clothing wardrobes they're not meant to hold things like kitchen like a kitchen um, cabinet would which if you have heavy things maybe that's better for you to go with more expensive though um, now the four drawers here I'm not going to show them all to you what's inside these two are um, fabric fat quarters so these two drawers at the top have fabric fat quarters in them and then this one right here has felt and I don't even know if I can show you yeah I can I am tall enough to show you that so there's a lot of felt in here see I have felt rolls and then I also have sheets of felt folded up in here so that's a big drawer of felt right there and then this one is watercolor supplies um nothing exciting really and then down here two stationary shelves this is really the bottom part of the unit this is eight and a half by eleven paper for card making um these are all binders for dies that i have they're actually meant for embossing folders but my dies are in them and then these are two pull out trays um i just figured that I probably won't be moving them in and out very much. They're on a sliding tray, but if I needed to get access to the back because it's a deep shelf, I can just pull it out. And this is the paper for um, card making that I mostly use. This is paper tray ink paper. 
and behind it is just storing some like stuff that I don't use on a regular basis that can be you know pushed to the back now again this is my stamp drawers see here um, these are the larger pockets um, I use a variety of brands um, but you notice that this is a very large one this is from paper tray ink and it's holding several sets here and dies um, so you can see that it is bigger it's set on its side because um, first of all this is not a full drawer but um, if you push it up against and set them all straight you'll be able to roll this drawer in and out without having to worry about um, these stamps getting um, hit by the next drawer up so there's a row of oversized stamps and then there's a row of regular size stamps here again this is not full because you can see it's kind of leaning back and then I put some 8x8 paper in the back but um, I had no idea where to put it so I just put it back in there and then these are stamp sets I need to go through um, where I purchased used from somebody and I just need to go ahead and file them away um, I'll show you another drawer of stamps this is a full drawer of stamps um, there's two rows in here and these are the regular size and then the smaller pockets now if you're wondering where I got these from these are from um, a uh, not Avery L they're from Ellen Hudson and they're thicker they're thicker than your normal stamp pouch I, I wanted these for the size not for you know the fact that it's thicker but I get them on sale whenever she puts them on sale and then this is an oversized stamp that I'm going to convert to a smaller po um, pocket because it doesn't need to be in a package like this. At least I don't think so. Maybe it does. I don't know. I might just stick it in the drawer down below. But anyway, um, I do have them categorized, but I haven't made the filing um, things for them. So like all of these here are sentiment stamps on the left hand side. And then um, on the right, is it, there's images in here. So, um, that's just how I've organized this unit. I had quite a lot of furniture in here and I still do really, um, over to the left, I was able to bring in my, um, laser jet printer. This is where I used to have my craft cutters, but I took the shelving out and then just put my laser printer here. Um, this is because I want to be able to foil with it and then... This particular bookcase that's right here used to be where these units are now, and it just has dies and stamps in it. Um, I have a large, very large collection of dies and stamps. Um, and then down here, this little bookcase was here before. It was full of dies and stamps. Now it's just carrying um, supplies for organizing my dies and stamps. And then there's some, oh, these are my stitching dies, paper towels my Gemini and then as I turn around which I have yet to clean my desk um, well it's still a little messy I have a haul there to film and then um, that's where I actually do all my card making um, to the left of my desk is the bookshelf I've had for a while um, and it has all of my kits so these are all paper tray kits and doohickey kits. And then just some new stamps and dies that I want to play with. There's some of it there. This is the rest of my paper tray stash in this really tall unit here. These are all my flower stamps from paper tray. So that's all that's in there. And then there's some shelves down back, back, back behind this chair. I won't move it, but there's um, more stamps and dies there. So anyway, that is kind of what I did as an update to my stamping area. And... Um, that's all for now. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and thanks for watching. Bye for now.